The main muscles trained in the supported single leg RDL are the hamstrings and the glutes, which work together to extend the hips. Then we've got other muscles that act as stabilizers throughout the movement, and these include hip adductors, some of our core muscles like abs and back, and ankle stabilizers like the gastrocnemius. To set up for the supported single leg RDL from a bench, stand beside the bench and rest one of your knees on the front of the bench. Hold a dumbbell or kettlebell in the hand that's on the same side of the knee that's on the bench, meaning the opposite side of your working leg, and hold your other arm straight out to the side as a counterbalance. For the side with the foot that's planted on the ground, which is the working leg, the shin should be aligned with the front of the bench, and there should be a slight bend in this knee. Brace your abs, keep your chest squeezed up and back flat without changing the knee angle in the working leg. Begin to lower the dumbbell or kettlebell towards the floor by flexing your hips, staying close to the front of the bench while keeping your arms straight. Once you reach a point where you can't go down any further without sacrificing that flat back, you're gonna likely feel a stretch in the hamstring of your working leg, and that's when it's time to come back up. Drag the dumbbell back up close to the front of the bench while still maintaining that flat back. The neck should stay in a neutral position throughout the movement, which will likely have you looking down in the bottom phase. Two common mistakes with this exercise that you're going to want to avoid include rounding the back, so make sure to keep it flat, and the torso can also easily twist as you move, so make sure that you keep your shoulders parallel to the ground. Now once you feel like you've mastered this version of the exercise, you can then progress to another supported version where you hold on to a stable structure with your hand. In this variation, still keep the weight on the opposite side of the working leg, begin to move your non-working leg to the back wall while allowing the dumbbell to move towards the floor, bending at the hips with a slight knee bend in your working leg, just like the previous movement. Think about the torso and the leg that's moving backward operating as a single unit. The supported single leg RDL is a great way to build strength, balance, improve muscle imbalances, and improve movement quality when it comes to hip flexion and hip extension. Let me know down in the comments what exercise that you want me to break down next. Thank you for watching.